little fair and nest. Welcome to my little Serenity Cafe series. This is number two. <laughs> it's been few and far in between, but uh, I, I'm just going to be sharing what I've been up to. Uh, a little bit of joy and happiness, <laughs> a little bit of crafting, and I'd love to know what you've been up to as well. I'm sure what art, what's art I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to grab a few supplies and uh, see where it takes me. So I hope you enjoy this. The birds out, sun shining, flowers around. I <laughs> uh, hope you're all doing well. And um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. This is this is me just being. Hope you enjoy. The first thing I wanted to share with you in the Serenity Cafe today is this beautiful drawing of my cat Moses. Any of you that have been following along uh, would have seen Moses appear in many of my videos and he recently took flight. He's over the Rainbow Bridge now and one of my son's friends, their grandmother, lovingly drew this beautiful, beautiful picture of Moses and I had no idea that I was going to be gifted this and my son surprised me with it. He didn't organise it, he had no idea either and it was just the loveliest thing gift and I cried at the bottom of my heart I, I thanked her and I made her and my son's friend um, a little teacup candle um, yeah actually a fairy wren teacup candle each <laughs> as a thank you so yeah this is really special Moe was really special so I just had to share uh, this special little treasure and it, it just looks so much like him look the, the eyes are the mirror of the soul aren't they just yeah absolutely beautiful my beautiful Moses this art piece today will appear in one of my art healing videos coming up uh, so I'll be chatting along as I paint this and you'll find out where I got this picture from and I've collected the ephemera ready uh, for my art healing video and it'll have a theme but it will be in another video this is and I'm out of my back deck most gorgeous afternoon here I've got a little bit of lunch oh and I love this little guy I got him recently and I've just put a little cactus in him from my garden beautiful little fox so these are my supplies before I start chatting about what I've been up to now it's a bit windy so I've uh, gathered what I what my theme will be um, of su little supplies and things that I have and I've popped them here so they don't blow away, blow away in the wind I feel like colouring this in as a water with a bit of watercolour and put it in this art piece so I might do that while I chat along mostly today along also this is just a book i got from the op shop it was actually free they had a box of books for free that you could just yeah help yourself to love this look at this little girl where i've torn that page out from for this art piece so yeah let's chat along oh, snacks of course as well <laughs> i'll put a bit of red on this and i'll chat along and have something yum yum. Mm. Delicious. I um I went kayaking in the middle of January for my son and my husband's birthday. And we went on this beautiful kayaking tour on a, on the big lake that's in my town here. And it was a it was a surprise that I organised for them. Absolutely beautiful. It was a beautiful day. Well, it was a hot day, and um, the kayaks had the bottom of the uh, kayak 
was clear was clear not glass but like a clear perspex and you could see under the water you know the the life under the water and a property on the lake on one side of the lake where we went had this huge huge crocodile statue that came from a reptile park down on the coast from here uh, and the reptile park still open but th this gentleman used to work there that's the story and I don't know how they got the the big huge crocodile statue it's, it's massive it must have been oh maybe 20 meters long it was it was huge but anyway that was a really lovely uh, day I must admit I get a little bit um, seasick and the tide the tide was changing all the time because it meets the lake there is a channel that meets the ocean I did get to a point where we were rowing against the tides or across the tide and I did get a little bit seasick <laughs> so towards the end of the tour the scenic tour um, I went back to shore and waited um, for my boys to come back they went into rougher waters so um, yeah I was just a little bit queasy so I knew that I couldn't you know go into any rougher waters but it was thoroughly enjoyable I have kayaked before but only minimally and um, not far from shore but because I highly recommend if you do and you're not familiar that you always go with a, a guide or a tour, a tour guide who knows the tides and the weather patterns and everything like that and then I've also been on holidays since we last talked I went away for a lovely overnight stay so sort of two days but with one night at the beautiful islands uh, near us it's only about a 40 minute drive so my hubby and I just got away for that day and stayed the night it was for his birthday also and we saw lots of beautiful fairy wrens there and it was in the middle of summer but we actually were very lucky because the day was wasn't too hot and we had the whole place to ourselves there was no other guests in this little cottage it was on a big farm and there were about five cottages but there was no one else there because we went during the week so I loved yeah we loved doing that uh, then just a couple of weeks ago I went to a seaside I live like I am on the coast here so I'm only about 10 minutes from the beach but we went away for a week a little bit further up the coast where we often do go and hired a little cottage it, you know it was clean and tidy it wasn't a palace but it was cozy and comfy and it was amongst the trees and the birds and I took my kite and we went flying the kite and there were days there was no one on the beach it was not school holidays so we um, most days we went there was no absolutely nobody uh, on the beach and the, the weather was spectacular uh, and we even did a little bit of our drawing we took our little books as we do my husband's such a good sport he you know he's he's not really into art and craft but he yeah he's a beautiful soul he's a good yeah so we 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 take these little sketchbooks that we have and um, we drew the, the sea and the landscape and even took some oracle cards and I did him an oracle card reading one for him and myself on the sand oh that was a loud bang 
So, um, yeah, and I went to this beautiful, I've been there before, these local ladies there uh, do art and craft, knitting and quilting and all sorts of things. And um, I bought a lovely little uh, crocheted elephant with a blanket, a little mini blanket attached to the little elephant's head. This is my friend, she's having a baby in August. And the ladies there in the gift shop invited me back to show me where they gather and do their art and craft. And there was everything there. There was woodwork and mosaic, mosaics, uh, painting, photography, everything. It was just lovely to see. They were retired ladies and... Um, just enjoying life and also in this town there's dingoes now I did a art piece about shining brightly and I had a dog in that and I'm on the beach and a depiction of myself in paper collage on the beach and I speak of a dingo that I saw last time I went there so my hubby uh, and I are just sort of going downtown to get a few groceries there and you'll just see random dingoes walking down the street. It is a regional country town um, and they are on the beach. There are signs on the beaches there to, you know, walk, be cautious because you don't approach them. Helicopters and birds and all sorts of noises. <laughs> So, as most of you know, my little beautiful Moses took flight over the Rainbow Bridge. And I really found doing that little um, journal healing video that I did immensely. And uh, you can go back and find all those if, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to know a little bit about Moses. Next week, next week is my last week looking after a little boy that I've been looking after mostly for a couple of years now, in 2022 and all of last year, and I'm really looking forward to what life has to offer me once I, you know, journey You know, it's a new chapter of my life, and I see a little honey eater up there. <laughs> my sister's going away uh, in a in a couple of weeks for a week, and I'm decided that well, she's happy for me to to go there. She lives about two and a half hours from here, and I'm going to babysit her her beautiful little dog. So and I'm going to go there on my own. My hubby and son will have to fend for themselves. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to look forward to just spending a bit of time on my own. You know, I don't, I don't think I've ever done that. No. Not for a long, long time. Not since I've been married anyway. And that's a long, long time. But I'm going to take my art and my journals and all my painting. And my sister lives in a lovely place too by the sea. She lives near the water. She lives by the lake, but um, she's about 10 minutes from the sea or so. So I might do some little videoing up there as well. I went to the art gallery up gallery last week about half an hour from here and I love going there and seeing what they have so I'm going to do a little video of that and also I went to the, these beautiful the sun, sun sunflower fields a uh, big sunflower farm about half an hour from here also and they're they raise money for the cancer council here and you make a donation to go there and 
you can also make a donation if you pick the sunflowers now my hubby and I didn't pick any sunflowers as much as I absolutely adore them who doesn't love sunflowers and the, oh there was these lovely little scare um, scarecrows there oh oh that's a mess <laughs> um, I have to fix that up I smudge it yeah there was some um, there's they had two scarecrows there and they had a Cinderella's coach a golden Cinderella's coach also that you could sit in and get your photo taken so I, I did a little bit of filming there not a lot and a few photographs so I'll we all put together a little video and it'll be of me um, painting some sunflowers too I think I'll do that but uh, yes yeah, so I have been busy life has been busy uh, and I really look forward to my new chapter in life and that's what this little art piece is going to be about so I will do a video of the art piece I'm putting together and this is will be part of it and and I'll yeah I'll film that because it does have a theme oh, and also I bought the most magnificent portrait of a lady it's a hand someone has definitely it's not a print and it's not a anything you buy in the shops it's someone something someone's done as an art project and it's of this beautiful lady with a lioness she's got flowers in her hair and I did a little oracle reading around her and I'm going to share that in another video as well like also coming on and and I'm kind of thinking she might be uh, Artemis or Diana. I know both of those are, one is Greek and one is Roman and they're both the same. Um, they're both huntresses and protectors of wildlife. I was trying to find out, you know, is it her and she's wearing a purple robe. So I she's a real mystery and she's she's huge and I got her from a place where like a second-hand place uh, where you you bid on items you just leave a bid and then they notify you if you're the winning bidder you can put any price on it and it's definitely you know someone's art project and yeah I'm going to share that with you and a little reading that I did so I've got a lot of lovely things coming up my trip to the sunflowers a farm garden fields my trip to the art gallery and now my little Moses is gone do you miss him I sometimes it's quiet without him though he wasn't noisy at all and sometimes you think that you can hear him a little meow or I can hear him jumping off the bed or the couch that that noise that clump that he may used to make and I look around and he's not there but but he is really in spirit isn't he so I miss him terribly terribly and we had friends our friends from New Zealand haven't seen them for six or seven years they came over the other week and they were baby sitting a little puppy on a property um, that was their friends about mm, 40 minutes from here so they came up and we spent the day together and we had a lovely lunch here and they brought the little dog the little dog's name was Dave it's a little miniature cavoodle oh gosh he was a quiet cuddly beautiful little thing just brightened our day and then we went down to the property where our friends were staying uh, on another day and um, they had a, these people have a really big property with a big greenhouse and all the fruit and veg 
vegetables imaginable in it. Everything. And they had a pool and they also had a Porsche. <laughs> but we didn't go for a, a burn in the Porsche. Uh, we just didn't feel right about doing that, even though their friends who they were babysitting the house for, they went away, their, their friends went away, said, you know, they could and we just didn't feel right about doing that. Um, and it's an expensive toy so we did sat in it and uh, I revved the engine we had a bit of a laugh and um, <laughs> but it was so lovely to see them and I've known them since I was about 18 they used to be my bosses in my very first job and we've been friends all this time I just love them to pieces and yeah we hope now now that Maui's not here uh, um, we're going to be doing more traveling and my sister's got a caravan and we're going to borrow that and go camping by a river and that's that's our that's our our dreams anyway <laughs> so we hope to be following those I don't know when and as I said it's a new chapter for me the next chapter after I finish my job looking after my little friend next week I'm really looking forward to um, the freedom and not having a timetable and working out where I'm going next in life. So here's my finished piece. And as mentioned, it'll appear in my next art healing video along with these beautiful papers and ephemera that I have selected so i'm wishing you all a beautiful week a beautiful day and keep shining brightly blessings all bye